It's an offer. One that I think you should take. A bribe. Call it whatever you want. Either way, I want you out of my daughter's life. You really think you can throw money at anything, don't you? I didn't know you grew up without a father. So I don't expect you to understand. Oh, I understand. No, you don't. When I say I'd do anything and everything for Dee Dee, I mean just that. I couldn't tell you how many times exactly. I'm losing my memory a little bit. <laughs> no longer young, you know. <laughs> I understand. Don't worry, Victor. <laughs> I was expecting my beautiful French wife. We often go walking to the market together. And today, did she come? No. Victor? Victor? Do you know why we're here? Oh. I don't know anymore. I think I want to go home now. Times are pretty tough. If I'm honest, I'm surprised you're even bothering. It's the fact that times are tough that make my job all the more important. Your job? <laughs> Look, if you want to be condescending, you may as well have done in the doorway. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. I mean, it's not my place to judge. You do what you do. It obviously matters to you. Yeah, it does. I'm not very good at this sort of thing. At what? Being polite? I'm saying... Sorry. He's here. Oh, ye. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Crawley. Jimmy, please get a menu for our steamed guest. Would you care to hear the specials? Sure. A filet mignon, delicately decorated with buttered mushrooms. To know that you would be in here one day talking with me about Flake and everything that she went through. <laughs> Thank you very much. 